What's up everybody, it's Chris with the uh, third day of Exerv Raid stuff and I figured I'd share with you some tidbits. Um, starting with the firmware 151, you can do uh, JBODs, which are just a bunch of disks. Uh, that's three types of partitioning schemes. When you make an array, you do create array, and you can choose the different RAID levels, uh, 0, 1, 3, 5, 0, plus 1, or JBOD. And what it does is it makes a, like a, like a Konkin, what is it called? Konkinsonated? Or snowballed, where you, you know, roll into the next one to make a uh, volume set. So it's not like a raise, it's called concatenate. Look it up, C-O-N, whatever the hell it's called. Here, I'll show you. Let's see. Yeah, concatenated disc set. Concatenated, real word. So anyway, I uh, made a JBOD in the raid, right? Oops. So I just went, I went to said create a raid, make a JBOD. I selected the entire uh, right array, which is uh, drives eight through 14, zero, zero through seven. One through seven. Um, so eight through 14 on the right controller. And uh, once I hit the JBOD, hit save, it made the array, the controller rebooted, and I went into disk utility, and I had all these RAID slices. Now those drives in this sucker are just a hodgepodge. It's a 300. Oops, select the RAID, you moron. There we go. So a 300, a 300. Wow, look at the power on hours on that. 32 power on hours, that's a low one. 2006 drives. Um, 300, 120. 80, 80, 80, and 80. They all passed, they're all okay. So I made the JBOD. So back on my Xserve here, I had all these slices. So when I want to make my concatenated uh, disc set, I just grab these slices here. Well, first off, I click new RAID set. I can call it uh, whatever you want. Let's call it JBOD. Now, I'm not gonna keep these, I'm gonna blow it away. So what do we want? Mac OS X extended journal, concatenated disk set. We're gonna do, now you just find your drives, uh, 300, drag it in. All right, now we'll take another 300, drag it in. We have a disk size, 558 now. Um, that was 120. I'll just do these three just to show you how it works because these 80s kind of are slow and then we're gonna do create All right so I click create and following will blow these drives away and next over ID you sure you want to click create yeah whatever okay so it's uh creating the raid now this is a software raid inside of the other the other uh Xserve raid yeah double rating but since we're not using any of the hardware we're just using Apple to uh, do this because what happens? On uh, Disk Utility here, you can make this instantly. If you make a RAID 5 array, as I'm sure you guys probably know, in RAID Admin, this sucker can take days to zero out the data to give you your disk. So doing a JBOD, it's just quick and dirty. It restarts the controller, your disks show up, and uh, bam, there we go, RAID Online. Look what I got, JBOD. How big is it? Excuse me. Uh, it says 673. 673. Now let's uh let's copy some crap to it. Let's just grab some uh, some junk here. I don't know. Old users from Windows Server. Drag it. Several thousand. But look at the utilization. Now you'll notice with a concatenated disk set. It snowballs, so it's only going to be right into this one drive. Look, it's only right into this first 300. Now, I did these three drives. 300, 300, 120. Well, it's not really a RAID like this RAID 5 is. You can see how that activity rolls. It's just right into the one. So the I.O. of that one disc, and you see the buffer come up. Hammered. Just the one disc. So, in theory, 
if a disc were to fail, I'd still have all the crap that was written to this one, and this one, and this one, if this one blew out, or whatever, if a disc failed, since it, it's like the Titanic, you know, it fills up, fills up, fills up, fills up, fills up, fills up, and hopefully it doesn't sink. So that's a quick and dirty, it's called a concatenative disc set on an Apple XServe RAID. Um, yeah. Now, these discs blow because there's not a lot of space. And finding a good IDE hard drive is really, really tough. I have one 750. The rest of these are fives. Um, like I said before, we're going all IDE to SATAs. Two terabytes um, across the board. Hopefully, it'll still work. Um, I read all over the place about the EMC controller in here, and it does support up to two terabytes but I have to go two and a half inch drives not the big threes because oh yeah, these trays are they fit like super snug that's a 40 but yeah the trays are really really tight so yeah um, as you can tell I'm copying five gigs in two minutes it's only going to that one drive it is an IDE it's not the fastest in the world and it does work I like old technology. I don't know. I just like making it work again. These things were thousands of dollars in their day. And I hate to see them go to waste. And all I do is store movies and TV shows off of them. So that's about it. Let me see. I have plenty of hard drives in here. Uh, the, the Power Mac G5 XServe is uh, running a 120 uh, OCZ Solid 2, which is a SATA 2 SSD. OCZ has trim built in because the G5 does not um, support trim natively or will the trim enabler from certain people work on it like it does on the more modern Macs. Um, it doesn't even have the trim command like on, on this one, on my main machine here. I'll show you something real quick. So if I go into system report, and, whoops, SATA, and I chose, where the hell is it, this one, you can see at the bottom, let's see, that's rotational, where am I, SSD, dum dum, okay, trim support, yes, but it's not native trim support, how did you do that, well, you just do like this, sudo, I think it's trim force or force trim. Sorry about that. It's trim force, you dumb dumb. So that's it. So you do sudo and you do trim force enable and it will enable trim. It'll give you a nasty gram and say, this will blow up all your stuff. It doesn't do it. It's Apple scare message. It works fine for every type of SSD. So if you don't have native uh, trim support from Apple, boop, there you go. I might even make that into a little uh, extra video because that's kind of cool. All right, so we're done copying. And as you can see, on, there's all my stuff and yeah, it works okay. Here's all my crap. Old information store, junk, and exchange, physios. That's it. Deleting's nice and fast. Nuke it. Boom. You know, nuke the trash. There's my mouse. Yeah, bye. So, I mean, you know, it's not. You know, whatever. Locked. Stop. I'll do it in a minute. The hold the option key down. So I mean that's that's fine. You can add this to this. Like oh my, I wanna. I need more. I need more space. Well, just drag a disc in. Bloop. Now you got 800. Let's see. Uh, I don't know which one I did. Hold on. Let's delete that. Whoops. Hey, wrong one. Minus. Okay, so I went and did this one. I did this one, and I did that one. So I'm gonna start off with these 80s. So I'm gonna select my J bot here. Oh, there's it. Where are you? Where are you? I know that's you, right? Come on, just 
stupid. Oh, duh, raid. Okay. So uh, I need to use 80. So I'm gonna grab my 80. Toss it in there. 673. Now we're at 750. And second 80. 826. Just hit update. Watch this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Update. Do do do. It'll bring these two discs online, and uh, it'll disappear. This will just update with new size. So now it's a uh, 661, still growing. Starting here. No, nah, it's all good. How's this conditioning going? Oi, takes forever to condition these drives. Okay. So this says uh, updating my JBUD. Disc is online. Three slices. Well, now it's got two more. But I mean, you can see how it works. That's the uh, concatenate new word for the day concatenate concatenated disc set and uh just think of the titanic when it flooded and it went over each bulkhead each bulkhead being a hard drive so you fill up that compartment it overflows onto the next onto the next onto the next so if you lose a disc you lose the data on that disc um you can drag these discs back into another concatenated raid set and uh get your data back it's not as fast as a RAID 5 by far. It's nowhere near as fast as a RAID 0 or a 1. It's just not that fast, but it's faster in the terms of using RAID Manager or the RAID Admin tool to make a RAID 5 long term. If you just see some quick and dirty disks, fine, do it to it. That's it. As you can see, just updating this JBOD is taking forever or the concatenated disk set. So remember that word for the day, folks. And that's about it. I'm going to blow this away, and I'll be back in a few with the uh, SSD conversions. The parts are on the way. Um, I got six of them. I need seven, but I have six of them, which will be good enough to prove the, prove the theory. I don't have six two-terabyte drives. I got a bunch of these. Uh, well, this one's only 500, but I have a bunch of these uh, in one and two terabytes. So we'll be updating those soon. So that's it, guys. And uh, remember, the word of the day is concatenate. Till next time, take care.